Tonight, a tight knit community grieving after two people, including a West Nassau High School student, were killed in a crash early this morning. I'm John Bachman. I'm Emily Turner in for Tanika Hughes tonight. The car ended up in a retention pond on a dead end road near a gas station off US 1 in Callahan near the Nassau County and Duval County line. Action News Jack's Ben Ryan is live where that crash happened. And Ben, you've seen several cars drive up to exactly see that spot. Yeah, and Emily, someone actually drove up. They got out of their car and they put this flower here along the fence line. They actually said that they were friends with the victims who told me that they were both just great people. Now, we also saw an FHP investigator out here as well. They were out here looking around. A 23-year-old man and a 17-year-old West Nassau High School student are dead after the Mustang that they were in was found submerged in a retention pond. We've been through a lot. I mean, we are a tight community, yeah, but that doesn't make it easier. A community crushed by this tragic loss that happened on Windchime Lane in Callahan. It's a dead-end road. FHP said it's unsure why the car went into the water, but it's being investigated. It is signed uh, with reflective uh, DOT-type signage, uh, and again, a fence line is there surrounding that retention pond. Close friends of the victims didn't want to share their name, but said they were close with them. The 17-year-old was also reported missing last night by family. I got a phone call, like four phone calls at 3 o'clock this morning asking where is where are they action news jacks on safety expert dale carson who's a former fbi agent and police officer said the next step in the investigation is doing some background checks on the victims the individuals will be brought in to the medical examiner's office for an autopsy to determine among other things whether it was death by drowning or something else mm -hmm. they will also look at the blood alcohol level which will remain constant investigators with fhp went back to the scene at night looking around but didn't find anything the 17 year old girl attended an ass County School. A spokesperson with the district says grief counselors will be on campus all next week, adding, quote, this is such a tragedy and our thoughts and prayers go out to her family, friends, teachers and classmates. And again, there's another look at the flower that one of the friends brought here, putting on the fence line. And again, that investigator who also came out looking to see if anything came up from the water, but it did not. We are, they didn't find anything, I should say. Now, we also reached out to an FHP spokesperson for any new developments on this case, but we haven't heard back tonight. For local coverage, you can count on in Callahan. I'm Ben Ryan, Action News Jacks.